Hi there, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to create our two WAN connections for our lab. Yeah, so just to explain the diagram I drew last week. Um, if you look, the this HP Prolian Gen 8 is my main router. So I have OpenSense installed on this. Okay, if we look at the back, I've got three main networks. So the first is the WAN. So that goes to an ONT that uh, connects to fiber. Then I've got a public facing network. So this is a network I put like IoT on or, or things like that. Then the next network I've got or connection is the HP's ILO. So that's like Dahl's iDRAC. Then I've got my trunk connection. This will have all our VLANs on. So my home network office and then our two WANs. From there it connects to port 24 so it will go into there and we'll split it to port 17 and 18 to create our two WAN connections. If we take a look at the back of the tile, Proxmox is installed and it's connected via this grey cable to my home network at the moment. Yeah. Then the top four ports we'll use for our OpenSense instance and the right four ports we'll use to connect containers of virtual machines. Okay so I'm logged into my main OpenSense router and the first thing we're going to do is create two VLANs that we'll use for our WAN connections. Okay so under interfaces, other types, VLAN We'll click the plus icon. For the device, we'll call it VLAN 04. Then for the parent, I'm going to select the VTNet 2, uh, so that is the trunk connection. Then for the tag, we'll have 104. And then for description, we'll just call it Home Lab WAN. O one. Click save. Then we can clone it, and we'll change this to five. Change it to one of five, and then we'll call it two. So home lab went to click save. Then once it's done, you can click apply. Okay. Okay. The next thing we need to do is assign the VLANs. Uh, so under device you can choose VLAN 04 and then you can click add and then we will also add the VLAN 105 click add once it's added you can click save okay now we need to enable it and then give it an IP address okay so since uh, we're using private IP addresses as our WAN connections uh, you need to leave these unticked so that none of the traffic gets blocked. Then we will choose static IP v4 and we'll give it an IP address. So the first one will be the 172.16.0.1 network and we'll set this to 29 to give us the six hosts. Then we will can click apply then I just wait for the web page to finish loading. Once it's loading, we'll go to the next interface, enable it. Again, choose static IP version 4, and then this will be the 172.17.0.1. For this one, I know in the diagram I had 29, but I'm just going to put it to 30 because I only want two hosts for now. So the interface will be 0 0.1, and then our WAN IP will be 0 0.2. Okay, so what I'd also like to do is enable DHCP on the interfaces. So under services, DHCP, choose the interface. We'll enable it and then we'll set the range. So for this one, we'll set 172.16.0.2 and then uh, to 4. Then you can scroll down and click save. Then we will, we will repeat this with the next interface. So we'll enable it and because I've only, you know, gave it a mask of 30, uh, we only have one usable host uh, 
for the one side so we'll just set it as 0202 and we can save that the last thing we need to do on this router is set up the firewall to allow the traffic so under firewall we go to rules and then we will choose the network so by default um, OpenSense blocks all the traffic so we'll click the plus button and we'll let everything pass so all we have to do is scroll down to the bottom and we'll give it a, de a description so we'll call it allow all traffic if I can spell right and then we'll click save so what this will do is it will, will allow all RP version 4 traffic out of the network and since we want to use this as a WAN uh, I won't be putting any blocking or anything like that on it we just want all the traffic to go through then we'll repeat this for the next interface Just give it the same description and then that is it we are ready to move to the network switch and set up the VLANs on there okay so I'm now logged on to my network switch um, using the TP-Link web UI so we'll now go into VLAN and then we'll choose the add a 2 1q option so what we're going to do is we're going to set up the first vlan we'll have the tag 104 and then we can give it a name so in this case we'll give it a lab wan 01 okay on port 24 it's going to come from the main router tagged so we're going to set it as tagged on the switch and since all the traffic going through the networks we created is untagged we're going to have to set for example we'll put our first network on port 17 as untagged we can then click add then we're going to do the same thing for the next VLAN tag so it'd be 105 and then we can call it lab WAN 02 and again port 24 will be tagged and then this time port 18 will be untagged then you can click add and modify so now our switch now knows which ports will work with each other um, if you would like me to do a more in-depth tutorial on how VLANs work in the future, you can just let me know and I'm sure I can do one for you. Okay, the next thing we need to do is set the primary uh, tags for the two new ports that we created. So for port 17 and 18. So for port 17, we'll use as 104. So pretty much any untagged traffic that goes through that port the switch will then take it and then add the tag 104 to it so it will know that any traffic that goes in there if it's not tagged it will give it that tag and then we'll do the same for port 18 but this time it will be ID so the tag um, 105 and there we go we should be done um, we can now go to the switch and uh, see if we get our correct IP addresses. Okay, so we'll test port 17 first. So I'll plug it in there. Then I'll plug it directly into my laptop. Okay, so there you can see it's busy connecting. Yeah, it's now connected if we check what RP we got and there we go we've got 172.16.02 so now we can test so we know DHCP is working now we can test that we actually have an internet connection so we'll ping for example google.com and we'll give it a second and there we go that starts to ping 
Okay, we'll cancel that. Let's try the next port. So I'm going to unplug it from 17. Let's just make sure the computer does disconnect. We'll plug it back into port 18. Now we should get 172.17.0.2. So it's busy connecting. It's connected. And there we go. 172.17.0.2. We can double check that we still have internet through that network. And there we go. So thank you for watching. And then in the Next video we'll be installing OpenSense in a virtual machine on Proxmox. So I'll see you there.